Welcome. Welcome to the Power BI True Beginner Tutorial Series. What we're going to do is equip you, the beginner, to be able to use Power BI to build stunning solutions to impress your coworkers, people you're building things for, everybody. And there's no worry, we're going to make this program simplistic to use starting today. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pop open Power BI as though I just installed it. Today, we're gonna to connect to data and I'm gonna to tour Power BI. I'm gonna to tour the windows, show you where the key things are you need to know. After that, there'll be additional vi video series that's gonna detail how to connect to additional data, how to transform data, DAX foundations, building visuals, layouts, the whole deal. So today, we're going to quickly connect and tour. So let's get into it. All right, so here we are. I just downloaded, just opened up Power BI. When you first open it, you'll see that there's a green screen. For now, just close it. We're not gonna sign in, we're not gonna mess with anything. But what we're gonna do right away is connect to data. So in the description of this YouTube video, there is a link to GitHub. That GitHub is a place where you can download an Excel file. It's gonna be called Sales Dataset. This is gonna be something we're gonna use throughout this series as a sample example data set. So what I need you to do is look in the description of this video, Go to GitHub. You're gonna to come to a window like this. You're gonna open this up. You're gonna download the sales data set. Simply click it, come over here, and download raw file. Then proceed to follow the steps. You're good to go, download it. Wherever you download it to, we're gonna go get it. So the first thing, usually when people have Power BI, they're new, they're saying, I need to build something using Excel data. So this video, we're gonna to first tour, but to help enhance the quality of the tour, we're gonna to connect to something first because you're gonna to start to see things pop up. So you just opened up Power BI Desktop, you know there's an Excel file or a SQL database or something you wanna use. In the next video, we'll talk about connecting to other things. But for this, let's start the tour, let's start connecting. So the key thing, the most simplistic important button and on this first screen, when it comes to starting up the process, well, there's two of them. Get data, which will kind of skip right to a step of getting data. But I think more importantly is for you to look at transform data. Because what this is going to do, it's going to launch and open the whole other back end of Power BI. You can think of this first screen as the canvas. Here's the canvas. I'm going to paint the pretty picture. When you click transform data and go to transform data, it's going to open up the back end. This is all your supplies. This is where all your data resides. So you can see it's empty. These two windows, if you have two monitors, I very frequently put one screen on one monitor, the other screen on another, I just kind of go back and forth. These are the two windows. So to help this tour, let's just start with connecting to something simple. So we downloaded that sales data set. Let's go to new source, Excel file, go to where you saved the file. In this case, I know it's right here. Simply click sales data set. You'll see there's a customer data set as well. Go ahead and download that from GitHub too. We'll use that when we come to modeling, another chapter in this series. So we're gonna open the sales data set. Power BI is gonna do its magic, connect to it. Right now, we're not even gonna go into the details of what's happening here. We'll talk about that in Get Data, but just quick observation. You navigate, you pick something, you see the data, cool. And now it brings it in. So you can see, uh, and I will talk about this screen as well in the next video for connecting to data and transforming data, but it brings it in. We'll declutter this and make it simple to understand. So we brought it in and let's for now, we're gonna keep with the idea of touring. So when you're on this screen, the key thing you'll see is the ribbon, which is gonna house a bunch of functions and then steps. On the right hand side are steps. So we'll eventually start transforming this data. And as we do, new steps will be added, you know, changing this to, to text, replace current, add new step, whatever. We'll talk through that, but we'll go through transforming this data. It will add it to the steps and kind of just your naming. Sales data set, let me turn this on. Click and so you can kind of follow it. So very basic, we connected. Okay, great. What you'll see, there's the thing about Power BI is that it can be very simple, but also very complex if you wanna get into it. So 
the ribbon is going to show a lot of different functions, a lot of different things you can do with the data. Home is your basic. Transform are, are tactics and things you can use to, to modify the information. Column adjustments, adding columns, custom columns. Views, kind of like the analytics. I like these because you can see distribution values. We'll get into that later on as well. And diagnostics. But the key thing is you connect the data, you bring it in here. Now you have your back end. To get out of the screen, to make it show up, close and apply is gonna be your friend. Or even just apply, if you have two windows. But for this, we'll do close and apply to clear it up. All right, so we close and apply. Now that back end is bringing the front end, bringing the data to the front end. And now here we go. This means we can start using it. And so we're gonna to tour this screen. What you're gonna see is what we just connected to is on the right hand side under data. It will list every column and there'll be a quick indicator to say, uh, if it's text, there's nothing. And a text field means it's something you can group by. So just to help the tour, we'll just click something like status. It's going to return the values. What it does and the concept of DAX, the concept of Power BI is if you have a large data set, it groups dimensions and it calculates or aggregates measures. So in this case, status is a text word. So it's taking all the words returned and sold are the two differences. And then in that whole big text file, there'll be values. So you can see, whoa, it automatically kind of creates visuals and things like that. We'll talk about this in the visual section. For now, just to kind of keep it simple in the tour, um, we'll, we'll walk through just the tour. We'll keep it to that. So when you're on the home screen, another key thing are the ribbons, which will allow you to pick visuals. That's the key section for this one. I can start changing this visual to other things, which we'll get into in the visual section. Uh, insert can be helpful for more complex items, also visuals as well. Modeling, this will be in the modeling section, but this is where if we wanna add a new table, if we want to do quick measures, View, this is helpful. This is helpful for the tour because view is gonna kind of help with what's being shown. So here is a key suggestion for how to set this sucker up. When it comes to view, there's something on the right hand side that's gonna essentially allow you to interact and use data. So as you can see here, if I uncheck data, data just went away from this right hand thing. So you wanna make sure all these are checked one thing that I like to do is for the pain switcher, for now to keep things simple for you, you'll notice if I'm on the right hand side and I click these, it keeps kind of overriding what was there. So I like to go to pain switcher, always open a new pane. This will allow you to say, see formatting, see data, and then finally move, build a visual to pain switcher. Right here is where you kind of put data on a visual. This is kind of the classic setup where you're gonna see everything you need to know on the right hand side, your charts and your visuals on the left. So when you set it up like this, now I have my data, any visual I click, I'll be able to select the data elements I want to have show up. Then you'll be able to format and filter everything on the left hand side. So I keep these three panes up all the time. That's how I like to work with things. And then when I wanna see what it looks like, we can very easily just click these buttons, make the screen a little bit bigger, bring it back up, good to go. So that's a key thing for the tour of this front end. Now there's gonna be three, four now, th four windows on the left-hand side. So one thing you're gonna find out is if you're watching, this is filmed in December, 2023. If you're watching this later in the future, Power BI is such a popular program, they're releasing updates monthly. Every month something is changing. Every month something is getting enhanced. So the program itself is continually evolving. This is a new section, DAX, query view. But here are the important things to know on the left-hand side. So report view, report view is what we're looking at. This is what the report's gonna look like. Table view, this is where, okay, I wanna see the data that I just brought in. So. If I, on the right-hand side, you wanna open this up, 
you can see sales data set. It shows every column. And in this example, if I come back to the report view, how we have a table and let's just change this sucker up to like a table. We'll go through these visuals and we see sold and returned. Again, what that's doing is it's going to the data I brought in. It's looking at the status sold. You can filter anything to look at it, but you can see there's two options, returned or sold. And it's bringing back the amount. It's automatically calculating and summing up the amount that's in this column. So you have the report view, you have the table view, the model view. When you hear about models, you hear about semantic models, data models, these are valuable and important because what we're gonna do throughout this process is we're gonna bring in additional data. We're gonna bring in customer data. We're gonna bring in store data. We're gonna bring in uh, product and customer information. And then what that's gonna do is we're gonna add many attributes on here and relate them. We're gonna build and manage a data set. What that data set is, is this thing on the right hand side. This is what allows us to drag and drop information into our report. So you have report view, look at the data, table view, look at the raw, raw data, model view, how do all these things relate together? And then DAX, this is the new view. This is not beginner stuff so much because you can do the majority of all the functionality without it. So I would just say skip this tab for right now. But once you get beyond beginner, you'll be able to see that this is an area where you can create more complicated uh, data analytic expressions. But until then, we're gonna keep it simple, beginner. So that's the tour. That's how this sucker is laid out. Um, if we want to look at the back end one more time, we'll hit go back to transform data. And within this section as well, there's gonna be more complicated joins and things we can do. So within the home ribbon, we'll see merge queries, append queries. These are kind of key things for combining. We're gonna bring in more data in the next videos. Uh, again, transform. So an important concept of Power BI is there's, again, these two stages. There's the Power Query stage, which is what we're looking at. And what that's saying is we're bringing in this data. How are we going to transform it so it can then go to the next layer of that reporting kind of stage? So you're going to see a lot of functionality here pertaining to manipulating raw data. There's, a, there's, a, there's really like a limitless possibility for what you can do. Um, and that's the tour. That's how simplistic this thing is. So click the next video because what we're going to do is we're going to bring in more data. We're going to start to format that data so it's going to work together. That's the next step. Click the next video. I'll see you there.